autism. Hey, I've been looking for answers for every disease, every known irregularity in the human body. Our children don't deserve to be autistic. They don't deserve to have to be on Ritalin. I've traveled this world for 30 years. I've done tremendous research. As you know, I've published over 15 research papers, and you know what? I have not yet analyzed a child that has a Ritalin deficiency. Okay. So, are you going to stay with me? Yes. Are you ready to go? Yes. Until this takes place, replication will continue forever. That's why we are where we are. And that's why no matter how hard we try, we don't change. Or we change very little. We still respond the same to certain things. We still act the same. We still say the same. We even repeat things that our ancestors said that we didn't know they said until somebody, oh, do you know, my uncle used to say that. I heard that from my cousin about 10, 11 years ago. She says, do you know your uncle used to say that? No. Yeah, he did. Okay? Interesting. What can cause a disruption in this process? Do you really want to know? Yeah. That didn't sound like it to me. Yes! This group is louder than this group. Yes. So I'm only going to talk to you guys. <laughs> Let me see who really wants this information. You got it. Okay, so if you all come up on that. All right. Thank you. Does that feel good? Yes. Get a little oxygen going? Absolutely. Okay. You asked for it. So don't hold me responsible. The difference of genetic code from certain amino acids could have a function in the regulation of translation. Okay, are you ready? Astrocytes. You know what astrocytes are, don't you? Oh, come on. Astrocytes are a little glia gland in the brain that's like a switchboard with information. Astrocytes in our brain are like a motherboard. They integrate all the different messages that transfer through the neurons and then multiplex them to the brain circuitry, then to the locus coeruleus. You know what a locus coeruleus is. They sell them every day at Walmart. The brain switchboard that is the beginning of the spinal cord carrying all message to every cell in the body. Okay? Now I'm not gonna test you on this, so if you don't get it, it's okay. But I'm gonna show you what that looks like. That is neurons traveling the axons from neuron to neuron those are the electrical signals that go through the astrocytes that are then sent on to every cell in your body, in every gland, every organ, every piece of tissue. Do you want to see that again? John Wetton, if you would put your hands together and give him a round of applause, he helped create this for me. <laughs> Visual application and adaptation is incredible for learning. Now, 
I did this a number of years ago. Some of you remember when I taught this in Chicago back in the old days. This, I thought I had a pointer here. This one. This is the locus crilius, the LC. This is the master circuitry, the switchboard in the human brain. And it attaches right to the top of the spinal cord. Uh, this is not the exact location in this. I put it here in order so I could show the pathways of the circuitry, and I did this specifically when I was working with major depression and how it works in the, in the mind and how it can be corrected. But that's when I talk about the LC, that is the switchboard for the brain. What are DNA and RNA made of? In order to create a disruption in the replication, there must be a material of similar structure that has an electrical charge, number one, and has the ability to cross the blood-brain barrier. Are you ready? Amino acids, sugars, and neurons. That's what DNA and RNA are made of. What is made of amino acids, nitrogen, and sugars with electrical charge? Oil. Is it making sense? Yes. Are you starting to understand now why when you breathe in essential oil you feel an emotional move? You feel a shift in your body? One, because of electrical charge. Two, essential oils have the exact same makeup of material that the DNA and the RNA have. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Now, to further cement my argument about electrical, I want to show you something else that might be of interest to you. I want to compare your brain circuitry, <coughs> the electrical circuitry of your brain, to the universe. Are you ready? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. OK. You're sure? Yes. You can handle this. Yeah, go, go, go. go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Yes. The brain cell versus the universe. All electrical. So when somebody tells you, you can't do it, what are you actually doing? You're telling the universe. You're denying there's a God. If you listen to him. If you tell him to take a flying leap off the Empire State Building, then you'll be correct. Everything in your brain that causes transmission of information is all electrical that is created in response to proteins, amino acids, nitrogen, oxygen, naturally, and sugars. Ribose, which is the RDNA, riblinoic acid, is a sugar molecule. Simple as that. Is that easy enough? Okay. All structure that transmits information is electrical. Essential oil is my, one of my very first discoveries back in 1992 was essential oils were electrical. And I measured the hertz of the essential oils. I published that in 94 and it's been replicated in different publications by people that have copied it ever since. Now I've been asked, Gary, why didn't you go further? Why didn't you identify the electrical charge in all the oils? And that's a very good question. And I said, you're absolutely right. I should do that. I'm just looking for a place on my calendar to fit it in. I know they're all electrical. I don't need to study any further to know that. Is there value in knowing the electrical charge in each one of the oils? Yeah. At this point yeah. in my life? I don't think so. Because this is what I do know, and this is why I want to make it simpler for you. You learn to connect to the oil through your impulses. 
not because it's published in a book. And then you will do what's right. All right? For example, if you decide, oh, I'm going to use forgiveness because the frequency is right according to the book. Well, maybe what you're trying to forgive, you're not ready to. It won't work for you. You might wind up getting a rash instead. <laughs> okay? One day when I'm retired and have nothing else to do, I will go back and identify the frequency in all of the oils and all of the blends just for fun. But is it really going to make a difference? Maybe in some way, someday. Electrical impulse from a thought generated right here in the neuron first. And then it travels the synapse, the axon pathway, and here it is, the thought traveling through an axon. Do I know who I am? Who I am. I am who I am. Write it down. Now, facilitator.